Alright guys, Bailey here and today I'm bringing you another Red Dead Redemption 2 video in which I'm going to be talking and analysing the latest interesting leak which came directly from an ex-Rockstar employee. I'm going to be giving you a full detailed analysis on this leak and give you all the information you need to know. Once again, before I begin guys, if you haven't checked out my other Red Dead Redemption 2 videos which include a lot of the best informative news, theories, speculations and more in the game, I have a playlist so you can keep updated, a link will be in the description below. Also guys, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button because I'm your best source for everything Red Dead related. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So a few months back before the Red Dead Redemption 2 first trailer was released, a senior ex-Rockstar Games artist published these artworks onto her personal online artwork portfolio. The images were soon discovered by fans and caused a lot of speculation as to what we didn't know at the time, but a possible Red Dead Redemption 2 game coming up. In total, there were six images released or videoing showing concept art for character designs. When these images started getting a lot of attention, they were soon deleted off her personal online artwork portfolio. As we all know, they weren't deleted forever as of course a few fans had them saved and published them again. At the time, I wouldn't think much of it, but after Red Dead Redemption 2 was announced and we have a trailer, and with most of the evidence hints in a prequel with Native Americans, it's hard to class these images as fake because they all reflect our speculations and theories. So I'm going to be giving you all the information you need to know and the concept art for the character designs. First one we're looking at right now shows us three variations of male characters. The first character appears to be a trader or a businessman from his attire. The second character clearly seems to be someone well equipped with weaponry, potentially a bounty hunter of some sort or a gang member. Lastly, this character reflects a farmer or a cattleman from his torn and dirty clothing along with his footwear and the hat. The second concept that we're looking at now is again three variations of male characters but potentially enemies. There's not much I can say about the characters in this concept art, but they all appear to be wearing the same sort of attire, which could represent a uniform of a gang within the game. Also, if you didn't quite notice, they all seem to have facial disfigurations, which could be inflicted from their lifestyle as criminals. On the subject of facial disfigurations, the next concept art shows us six male faces. One of them is normal, no damage to the face, but the other five have all facial disfigurations. These will show us the different type of injuries to the face of some of the characters may suffer. For example, three of them look like they have encountered an injury from a fight on an animal attack, possibly from a bear or cougars. The two other faces show a burn mark to the side of the face, which could be inflicted from Native Americans, which were known for burning down settlements. I think this is a great new little addition to characters in Red Dead Redemption 2, as there was many facial disfigurations back then, which gives the game more detail than what it did in Red Dead Redemption. Moving on to the next concept art, we see four variations of Native Americans masking face paints. Face paint were used by Native Americans to differ between tribes, rank, and commonly changed for occasion. Looking at at first, the Indian we see his face paint is a red stripe across the face with a black border. Stereotypically, the style of face paint was used for battles and was called war paint. The red was used by Native Americans to symbolize war, blood, strength, energy, power and success. Black was perceived as a living colour and one on the face to prepare for battle. It may also indicate that the wearer was a powerful warrior who proved himself in battle. Our next Indian is masking a white face paint across his whole face. The white was commonly used to symbolise mourning and was also the colour of peace. Now the two other Native Americans I can't give you a full analysis of which their face paint represents. Due to the colour purple and brown were not used often and there was no meaning behind it. This could just mean the differentiations of tribes. Next concept art shows us three variations of male Native Americans wearing a mixed attire of normal American and native. They are possibly wearing this clothing from taking the outfit and weapons from their fallen enemies. The weapon they are holding as well appears to be a Winchester rifle, which was a popular weapon in Red Dead Redemption. These characters could possibly be similar to the character in the cover R, which is a Native American. Our final concept that we are looking at now again is showing us three variations of male Native Americans. These Native Americans seem to be of a higher ranking and could be an elder, holy man, war chief or chief. If you come into conflict with these Native Americans in Red Dead Redemption 2 in this outfit, this would be great for us to see which enemies are stronger and which will do more damage. So that's all the concept art covered. I really do like the different variations of characters and the details added to them such as face paint, facial disfigurations and also the outfit showing higher ranking Native Americans. So guys that's all I have to say for you today. I shall keep you all informed on any new speculations or theories which is worth mentioning in future videos. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of these concept arts and what one is your favorite and if you want to see more fresh content hit that subscribe button and guys thanks for watching i love your faces and i'll see you in the next one